one head of cabbage, some cooking oil, a little bit of salt, and about three cups of rice is all Emma Kajiri has left in her kitchen. She says she'll have to make it last as long as possible to feed her family of eight. Life is hard. We don't have much to eat. There is nothing good about our situation. We are barely surviving. The UN's World Food Programme says more than 8 million Zimbabweans will not have enough food by December if there's no urgent intervention. That's roughly 60% of the population. Malnutrition yeah, is, of course, something that uh, affects mostly uh, young children, uh, pregnant lactating women. Uh, in Zimbabwe, also, there's still a large number of people who are uh, dealing with chronic illness. And, of course, their needs, their nutritional needs, are, are different from, from people who are otherwise healthy. Um, so it's very important uh, that uh, we keep an, a close eye on that in the current circumstances. Basic goods are now beyond the reach of many people. Growing enough food is not an option for some. Years of droughts, the economic crisis, rising unemployment, soaring inflation and now coronavirus have hit families hard. Millions across the country are struggling in both large cities and rural areas. Desperate families like Emma Taurais are eating less. She has to feed 10 grandchildren. Her own kids either died or left the country to look for work. I can only hope my neighbors take pity on us and give us food, even if it's their leftovers. We really don't know what we are going to do. Zimbabwe's cash strap government gives food aid and a COVID-19 allowance of about $20 a month to some vulnerable families. Local officials are worried. This guys, it's pathetic. Sometimes uh, tears go around my, down my, 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 my cheeks because the situation they are surviving in is very, very bad. Back in Mrs. Kajiri's kitchen, the children wait for supper. Frustrated, their grandmother says she hopes to never have to say to them one day she has nothing to give them.